Welcome back to Animal Adventures. So today I am going to show you how to do the snake craft. Um, so some of you might have already done it, um, but I'm just going to give you a tutorial of how we've been doing it. Um, all of us counselors have been doing it. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is to get out your baggie from your bag that says snake craft on it. And then you're going to want to just dump it on a flat surface. Make sure that it's a flat surface that nothing can get through. Um, like this is completely closed. So just so that your beads don't fall through. And you also have four googly eyes. So you don't want to lose those. You should have two of these long pieces, which you can see here, this blue one. And I have this green one. And you're also going to want two of these shorter um, red pieces. And you're also going to have your beads and some extra string. Once you have all of those, we're gonna get started. The first piece that you're gonna need to use is this uh, one of these long pieces. So it doesn't matter what color it is, just pick one of these. Okay, once you have one of these long pieces, what you're gonna wanna do is on one of the ends, you're gonna grab it and you're gonna make like a circle so that you can make the head. So if you don't connect this with this it's just gonna kind of hang there so what you want to do is take this and what you're gonna do is I go over just a little bit and then you're gonna bend that piece back and around so that it stays okay so now you have your head let's go to the next part so your next part is going to be to take the little red piece and this is your tongue so you're going to find a place on your head where you want to put it. I'm going to put mine right here. And just like you did before, you're going to put just a little bit past. So you'll see how it's kind of sticking out on the other side. So that what you can do is you can bend that forward. So you can wrap it around a part of the head. And you can even twist it a little bit so it stays. Now you have what's starting as a snake. Okay, once you've done that, then you're going to get to decorate it however you want to. So you'll notice that Dawn made hers with a pattern. Um, so you can do a pattern as long as this. Um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to do a couple. So you're gonna take your beads whatever colors you want. I like that my snake is blue. So I'm gonna use some blue beads. And you're just gonna keep threading it through. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So then you can pull your beads to wherever you want them. And I only wanted a few scales. So that's how many beads that I did. Once you're done with the beads, what you're gonna wanna do is at the end of this, you're just gonna wanna kind of twist it and and make like a like a knot almost. That way your beads can't come off. So you're just gonna twist the ends and make like a circle. Okay. Voila, there's my snake. But there's still one part left. So I am going to be using glue, um, this liquid glue but feel free to use hot glue. That would definitely work better, but if you don't have that, that's okay. And you're just gonna put a little bit. So you're just gonna be putting a little bit right where you want your eyes. I want one eyeball here. the 
other right next to it. And again, you can put these wherever you want them to go. Sorry, it's a little hard to glue with one hand. And you're going to want to do that on a flat surface like I just did because you don't want to have to move it around and then the eyes fall off. Um, especially you want to do your beads before you do that. Um, that way you don't have to keep picking it up and moving it around. Um, but you'll notice now once it's there, I'm going to leave it there because it needs to dry now. Um, and I'm actually outside so I'm thinking it's going to dry faster um, than normal, um, which is nice. So. You know, you can always do this outside, just get a flat surface um, and do it outside. All right, so while that's drying, um, I'm going to show you something that you can do with it once it's done. So normally this would have eyeballs, but since this is done, I'm going to show you on this one. Okay, so what I did was I made, I tied it right at the end. So I put it underneath and I just wrapped it around and tied it and now you can drag it around like a snake and you can bend it um, so that it goes any way you want so you can make it straight or you can make it really bendy whatever you want to do with it all right I hope you enjoyed this and go try out your own if you can Try to leave um, or send us some pictures of your snakes. All right, have fun.